Mark, the city of Newport is looking for bids to demolish two of the buildings that serve the public at Easton's Beach. Yeah, one shelters the beloved carousel, the other houses the snack bar. NBC 10's Temi Topa Adelaia is live in Newport to explain why they will be torn down this spring. Temi Topa? Emily and Barbara, changes are coming to this complex of buildings here behind me that beachgoers use, and some locals are not happy about it. The sounds of the waves will remain, but the sights of Easton's Beach will look dramatically different come spring. Well, I read about it in the paper this morning. I know there's been talk about it, but I was very upset about it because I enjoy it so much. My grandchildren enjoy it. My kids enjoy it. Every time we have people from out of town, we take them down here. The city of Newport said both buildings, this one which shelters the carousel ride and this one that houses the snack bar, are both unsafe, so they will be demolished. And I've been coming here since I was a kid, and at that time I was 10 years old. And this is just such a great place. We used to have the carousel and everything used to just run. And the carousel has been off limits since 2021 when an engineering report found, quote, significant structural deficiencies. The city says a further investigation showed the entire complex, including the snack bar, were in need of significant repairs. And with the rising tides related to climate change, they decided it needed to be taken down sooner than later. The buildings were popular features of the city-owned beach. You know, it's got that boardwalk kind of feel that, you know, you only see in movies when you're living, grow up in Kansas. So I was hoping my kids would get to experience that a lot. Some suggest rebuilding what's already here. Why we not build it better this one here and high quality and in the world and good advertising, make it good money for this city. We reached out to Easton's Beach Snack Bar operator Barry Botello. We featured his snack bar in a Cheap Eats segment last summer. He says, quote, what hurt the most, though, is when my grandchildren, ages six and nine, who used to help sweep and clean the tables at the snack bar, asked if this meant they couldn't work at the snack bar anymore. Despite the setback, we may be down, but not out. I am committed to keeping the brand alive. When it comes to the carousel itself, efforts are being made to preserve it and either keep it here at the beach or move it elsewhere. Live in Newport, Temitok Badalea, NBC 10 News.